Hey guys, uh, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to untilt as Aurelia because in her current state I can understand a lot of people tilting and she's a very difficult champion, more difficult than she's ever been. She's very fragile as well and she's very hard to pull off. Um, a lot of people have given up on Aurelia, a lot of Aurelia mains don't play her unless it's a counter pick. I know she excels in competitive play but solo queue and competitive play are two different things. Okay, so um. Mainly people right now only abuse her in the mid lane. It's been two years and Riot wasn't able to fix this sadly because they're lazy or something. I don't know. I'm not here to insult Riot. I've given up on Riot a long time ago. But I want to show you guys how to untilt playing Aurelia and how to focus on improving and being the best you can at her regardless of her state. Because there's one thing we can all confirm about Aurelia that will never ever change. And that's her Q. And as long as you master her Q and just remember these simple mechanics tilting becomes a lot harder for you because you're going to be focusing on consistently improving okay so here's what you're going to do okay so i'm going to remind you that Aurelia's q is what makes or breaks her kit oftentimes if you know how to use it correctly you'll still be an okay Aurelia and you'll still be able to climb okay you can apply this trick onto any other champions as well but uh this mainly applies for Aurelia because of her q okay so i'm going to put no, I'm I'm gonna disable I'm gonna disable uh no oops. I'm gonna disable uh minion spawn turret thing, turret invincibility. Uh I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna hit level six. Okay. Uh let's see. We're gonna put our dummies actually we're gonna put our dummies in the top lane because we play top lane Aurelia. We're not a bunch of bitches. We only play Mid lane Irelia, if we have to, if we're auto filled. Okay, Irelia is a top lane champion. Uh, we're gonna teleport here. Oops. Okay, so here's what we do. Okay, here's here's what we do. Okay, I want you to think of Irelia like a scene in a movie or like a movie clip. Okay, that's that's what you want to think about her as. You don't want to think about her as a laggy video. You want to think about her as a beautiful cinematic. All right, so it sounds kind of corny, okay? So I'm gonna refresh my corner, my cooldowns here, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's say, let's say, there's minions around, okay? Let's say there's minions around. There's no minions around, okay? But it, it would be a different case. But right now, there's only uh, champions or dummies around, okay? So let's say, I stun, okay? My, uh, where's my cooldowns? I stun. Okay. So, this is an average Irelia player right here. They're, that's what they're going to do, right? They're going to they're gonna go E, and then they're going to Q, Q. Okay? Here's what a good or better than average Irelia player does. When you stun, it's a lot faster. Okay? It doesn't, it's not, you don't think it's noticeable, but it's very noticeable. Okay? And I see a lot of Irelia players not do this because I love, I love to stalk other Irelia players. I like to replay other Irelia players. I like to see what they're doing that I don't do and what I'm doing that they don't do. And this is something that I don't see people do anymore. It's as if they forgot how to play Irelia overall. So it's like, when you stun, when your animation going on one Q is going to that Q, you want to aim your mouse on the next Q. Okay? It's very common sense. So that way, your stun goes off faster. Oh, what the fuck? That was glitchy as fuck. That was weird. Uh, I, yeah, it's glitch because it's PPE. Or, uh, practice mode. Okay, so. So, okay, let, let's look at this. Let's look at this from, like, very further away, okay? So, let's say I land my ult here. And I Q here. Okay, so. My Q, I already click it here, right? So, I ult. I already clicked my Q. My mouse is Hovering the next Q, and then the next Q, and then the next Q, and then the next Q, and the next Q, and then the next E, and the next W. I'm always thinking two steps ahead because my mind shouldn't buffer and my game mechanics shouldn't buffer. So I have to consistently be thinking ahead and thinking of where I'm going to Q or where I'm going to stun or what I'm going to do next and when I'm going to do it. Let's say there's minions here and I want to juke an ability. I already have my mouse ho hovered here. So when my Q animation goes off, so I'm queuing. Like, my mouse is already here. As soon as the Q is in its animation, I already click the next Q, and the next Q will apply even as soon as, like, this animation is going, right? So it's gonna it's gonna be super fast, and then I'm gonna be queuing here, and it's gonna be even faster, because I'm gonna be having my house, mouse hovered there, right? So... 
It's like, it's super fast. It's super duper fast, okay? Okay, I fucked that one up. But, like, uh, these are very basic tips on Irelia that you can keep yourself occupied in so you don't tilt, okay? And, um, obviously, if you perfect simple tricks like this, you should be able to climb a lot easier and you should at least be able to hit diamond sometimes higher, actually a lot higher, because right now, uh, mechan mechanically, I realize it's incredibly difficult and um, knowing how to do this at least will help you out in your games. I would say Irelia in this current moment is probably the hardest top laner in the game. I don't think, yeah, I, I mean, you can correct me if you want, but I don't think there's a top laner, an actual top laner that's harder than Irelia. I think, um, like, if we want to argue anything, it would be Yasuo. Yasuo would be harder than Irelia because Yasuo is way more fragile than Irelia. Uh, but I don't think Yasuo is a top laner. So um, that's the tip to help you untilt on Irelia. Uh, other basic tips I have for you is if you lose, just accept that you lost. Okay, it happens. It's going to happen to the best of us. Uh, Irelia won't be in a shit state for long, I hope. Uh, she's been in a very awkward state for over two years. It's very, or like ever since the rework, really, she's not a top lane champion. She's definitely a mid lane champion, right? Said they're going to fix it. They don't fix it. They said they're going to introduce new mechanics. They haven't yet. Um, I really feel like her passive should change. I feel like her passive um, could go up to six, maybe even eight stacks, kind of like Jax. But six, let's not push it too far, okay? And uh, like without passive, her auto attack range goes to like super short, just kind of like an actual top laner. Because what what's easily abusable in the mid laner in the mid lane is her E and her passive, right? Like she can permanently stick onto a target because of her auto attack range and her E and W queuing. But without her passive, like at just level one, her auto attack range should be like exactly what it was in the old Irelia, okay? And then as she hits six marks or four, if they want to keep five, that's fine. As she hits six, her passive auto attack range should be higher than what it is right now. It should be super high. Okay, it's just maybe not that much higher, but just like, just borderline ranged, okay? And then at level, at one stack of her passive, it should just be like a little bit higher range, higher range, higher range. At six, it's obviously max range of auto attacking. It, it should be like that, honestly. I don't think she should just get this insane auto attack range from level one. I think it just scales with her passive and it scales in the game. I think that would make more sense and that would make her a better top laner. Um... Also, I think she should gain passive stacks per auto attack. Okay, so that way there's a reason to buy Titanic Hydra and rush it as a second item rather than just sit on Tiamat and then go Sterex. Um, I think Titanic should be a second choice on her. I think it, it, I think it, it should be a must. And I think it would be a cool thing to do is if like she auto resets to get more passive stacks. Right now she only gets Conqueror stacks, obviously. But like her autos... Like, she needs her autos to be useful. So she needs to gain stacks for auto attacking, okay? Um, gaining stacks for abilities is great, but, I mean, it could be too easy to gain stacks for auto attacking and up getting six stacks instantly, but I think that's kind of the fucking point. Like, it's not supposed to take a miracle to get off all her four stacks or five stacks. It, it really shouldn't be that difficult for a champion. It really, really should not. Like, in a 1v1, you constantly have to focus on getting five stacks or you're fucked okay like that's bullshit that's absolutely bullshit like the least they can do is every two autos will give her a stack at least at least okay but i really need easier ways to obtain stacks you can make your stacks stack up infinitely if you want okay no one gives a shit but having to land your abilities to get stacks is extremely discouraging okay and i really is extremely high risk low reward again in competitive play she's very strong because of her utility and her utility makes her a good mid laner, okay? Because mid laners scale with utility. Top laners scale with CC and a bit of damage, okay? So, and sustain. Well, yeah, so, and mobility, of course. Like, they got all this stuff and healing, whatever, but, um, so, yeah, like, um, yeah, make, make her passive more dangerous than what it is right now. Her passive makes her super weak and it holds her back. And if they really want to rework Irelia, I've suggested this in the past, her Q, like, you should revert the fucking range on this thing. It's not fair. Like, Irelia's Q has been the same range for fucking eight years, and then you just decide to nerf it because she was strong in the mid lane. Like, you guys are absolutely stupid. Okay, so revert the range on her Q. It was good before. Uh, she needs that range in the top lane. She may not utilize it in the mid lane, but she's the dash queen for a reason. 
give her her fucking range back, okay? Please, just cut us some fucking slack here. Uh, revert this. Uh, w needs an absolute rework, like absolute rework. Just completely fix this kit. Like, if you really want to keep it even similar, then make it so that she can channel her W and gain movement speed when she has it, okay? She, sh she does shouldn't stand still. Make it so she gains movement speed, but maybe it's not as strong. I, I don't know, maybe it's just 30% damage reduction, okay? 30, 30 to 50%, but like magic, like damage reduction for magic and physical, okay? Like just this physical bullshit, like that's not a way to nerf a champion. That's like literally gutting half the ability. It doesn't make sense. It's terrible. Uh, the cooldown should go back to what it was before. Like if, you, if they want to keep the same cooldown, that's fine. At least give it movement speed. Don't make it so we can stand in place. It's trash, okay? Like it's, it's very, very decent in some scenarios, but really... The primary reason I really is winner is incredibly low is because of her W. I'm telling you guys that right now, right? If you're watching, please revert W. No, don't revert it. I mean, just fix it. Make it not a fucking ability that makes you sit in place, dude. That takes a lot of skill to make efficient, okay? Like, think of fucking Renekton, man. Think of fucking Renekton. Renekton has a permanent stun with Spear of Sojin, okay? Like, but where, where in Renekton's kit as a top laner says you have to stand still to channel a fucking ability as a bruiser? No top laner, except for Fiora, but Fiora is, is really fucking good. Okay, Fiora's is really good. The only problem with Fiora is it doesn't block tower shots. I think Fiora's W should block tower shots. I definitely think that shit should block tower shots. It should block anything in the fucking game. It should block fountain shots, okay? It deserves to be in a strong state. It's a 20-something second cooldown down and it makes you stand in place okay there's counterplay uh, you can argue with me all you like but i think fiora is an extremely hard champion uh we're not talking about fiora right now anyways so this should be reworked it should give her movement speed at least um auto attack should give her passive stacks make it six stacks okay just make it six stacks it doesn't fucking matter man no we really don't care about the stacks as long as she can easily obtain them Okay, like Jax has eight stacks. No one's complaining about Jax's stacks because he gets Titanic. He goes auto W Titanic. He's got three stacks. He goes E and then blah, 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 blah. And he's got his eight stacks real fast. He can stack them on minions and they fall off one at a time. Okay, so make Irelia something similar, man. It's, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal if you're copying exactly what Jax has. It's really not a big deal. Just make something easy to obtain. Okay, it, it, like sometimes it's, it's going to be super hard to land your stun. Sometimes it's going to be extremely hard to land even your ult on Irelia against enemy champions. They just fucking run away or they just juke the shit out of that thing. I've seen Rivens, I've seen Rivens sidestep Irelia ult. I've seen that, dude. I've Like, can you believe that you can simply sidestep an ult? Like, what the actual fuck, okay? So, you need to... um. Make stacks obtainable easier, so that way if your abilities get sidesteps or you have a hard time landing them, at least you still have a way of dealing damage. Because let's say, let, let, let's say I'm in a fucking bush, okay? Let, let's say I'm in a bush right here, or right here, I'm, I'm in the middle of here, or I, I, God knows, I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I'm 10-0 and 0 on Irelia, and a Riven comes in with her full build cleaver, like literally just a fucking cleaver, okay? Or a death sense. Let's say Riven comes in with that, okay? Uh, I shit you not, Riven one item can beat Irelia three items sometimes. I'm not even exaggerating, okay? I shit you not, there's so many champions that can shit on Irelia even if Irelia is way more ahead. You want to know why? Because, because they just sidestep all her fucking abilities and she doesn't do any damage because she doesn't have any passive stacks or, and she only gets to Q once. Like it's, actually, notoriously frustrating it's, it's it's incredible it's stupid the only thing she excels in is team fighting because they gave her like a, a bit of an overloaded ult i'm not gonna lie that thing is strong if you landed in a team fight but it's not strong enough to carry solo queue it's, it's really good for competitive play it's hands down one of the best ults for competitive play it's perfect dude like you're literally sticking an enemy team in a circle and they're just crippled for years dude it's perfect for competitive play but anyways bottom line is you need to make her passive easy to obtain or just like revert her rework completely give her her old w back uh, as for stun uh, th this is a mid lane ability as well okay like th this ability is a tank ability uh, i really is not a tank i really is a bruiser get that shit right please like poppy has a similar ability channel channeling her ult or whatever makes sense okay great uh galia has an ability like this great he's a tank 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 all tanks have an ability like this okay it makes sense on a tank not a bruiser so fix it Give her movement speed, okay? Just give her the fucking movement speed.
Give her the fucking movement speed. Okay, we can work about her being a mid laner later, but just fix this W. Uh, her stun is also mid lane ability. Like, think of Victor, think of Malzahar, think of all these mid laners that use, like, uh, like their spells. They weave them like this or something, and then, like, it does a little line, and it does damage, or it does something. <laughs> like, Malzahar silence. Like, that sounds like a mid lane ability to me. Like, what kind of top laner has this? Okay, like, I get it. You're trying to be unique. This isn't unique. This is just stupid. This is not a top lane theme. Okay, this this is this doesn't make sense. This isn't this doesn't fit the top lane. Like, like you're not you're not supposed to recreate top lane. You're supposed to add onto it and make it a better lane. Okay, like you literally you guys destroyed you guys destroyed uh, like Irelia top lane for so many people. Like so many Irelia mains have quit the game or they've just given up on Irelia completely. It's only the new people, it's only the new people abusing Irelia, like the, the new Irelia mains abusing her, okay? All the Irelia mains are not happy with her. All the people that like, liked Irelia before she got reworked, they don't they don't fuck with her anymore. They're, they're constantly bitching about her and everyone has the right to bitch about her because like you guys did a terrible job and you're not fixing it and it's been two fucking years, okay? So please fix it. So e needs to change. E needs to change. Uh, you, you know what E needs to be? Do you guys know what E needs to be on Irelia? I'll tell you guys right now what Irelia's E should be like. And you know, you can disagree with me if you like, but I think this makes perfect sense, okay? Perfect, I, I don't know, okay? Maybe, call me crazy, call me crazy, but I think Irelia's E should be what Rengar's old Q was when before, when he got that mini rework where he just drives forward and thrusts his Q into a, into a champion and does damage. I think her E should be something similar. She drives forward and thrusts her blade in like the, the same way she like, the, the way the way she does the alt animation, she kind of she kind of does the same similar animation with her E. She just pushes forward like a tiny bit, and then like people right in the center get stunned, and then people right and on the outside of the E they get slowed. Okay, and then th that would be kind of cool because it, it actually fit the old theme of Irelia where she had a stun and a slow in her E. It, it would be the exact same thing, dude. It, it, it'd be the exact same thing. Like it would be a stun and a slow at the same time. So if you land it in the center of someone, which is kind of the equilibrium theme for Irelia too, because she's about balance or some shit, okay? So it's kind of literally the same theme. So everything in the center of her stun when she thrives forward and thrusts her blades, uh, everything in the center, like the primary center gets stunned. If you're at the very center, it's like a 2.5 second stun. If, if you're like very far away, then it's a slow, like the range should be like right here, like something like this. Okay, maybe a little slighter, slightly higher than her auto attack range. Okay, that way she has like a use for her flash even. Like right now, the only thing she can flash do is flash R. Like flash is not even essential on Aurelia, hence why I take Barrier Ignite. But uh, yeah, so like her her stun should be like in just an, in one direction, just thriving forward. Everything in the center is stunned. Uh, very center, stunned for more. At the outside, it's just slowed and it's slowed for a little bit. And then the more uh, you max it, the more the slow, the more the stun, and whatever. The ult stays the same. Uh, if you guys want to nerf the ult, that's fine. You can do whatever the fuck you want with the ult. Oh, the ult cooldown person, I feel like it's too long. And it makes sense that it's that long for like team fighting and all inning and stuff like that. But like uh, in the laning phase, it being that long is very bullshit. Um, I don't think the ult needs to rework at all. But her stun, like, you can get rid of, in fact, you can get rid of her stacks, okay? I mean, no, no not her stacks. You can get rid of her mark on her stun. I don't think people are going to bitch about that, okay? You can get rid of her mark on her stun if you give her this other utility and rebuff her uh, mobility. For, like, you, she gets double damage on minion, 200% or whatever it was. Uh, if you rebuff that and uh, fix her stun, uh, but it does no mark, it's debatable. It's really fucking debatable, okay? It, it could be... It could be like a big, big nerf to Irelia. It could be. I'm not going to lie. It, it does sound like a ballsy thing to do. But at the same time, if you gave her passive like eight stacks and she still got like a lot of damage from her passive, she wouldn't need two Qs. As long as she uses her Qs wisely, uh, one Q should be enough. Right? So like right now in the mid lane, you abuse her because you can even go press the attack, stun at level two, Q, and Q again and one shot someone. And that's why I guess she's strong in the mid lane for such a long time. In the top lane, I don't. I personally don't think she needs so many stun, uh, so many uh, charges. Like her ult giving her stacks, great. That's actually fucking amazing. Her stun giving her stacks, not so amazing. Um, but yeah, make 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 Irelia to the point where uh, just fix the stun. Make it like a 
like a, a mini dash like Rengar, I'd say that would bring a lot of top lane back into the game for Irelia. She'd be a top laner. Uh, this was meant to be a video on untilting as an Irelia player and what you should be focusing on, but I got carried away and I ranted about how they should rework Irelia. So that's kind of troll. But that's all I have to say for today. Um, thank you for listening. Have a good day.